Hey guys, Clone Guy here, and guess what? That's right, artillery nerfs inbound. Artillery changes. Let's see what they're about to do here. Artillery quality of life updates. June 13th, that's today. The June 14th update includes the first improvements to World War II gameplay that features artillery. Learn more about what's going live. Oh boy. The team behind World of Tanks Modern Armor is constantly working on ways to make battles more exciting, more engaging, and more fun. One of ways we're okay, they forgot something. One of the ways we're doing that is by taking a look at a particularly powerful class of vehicles, artillery. The June 14th update will contain the first changes and what we've been calling the RE 2.0 initiative. They're not all the changes to artillery we're looking at for the future. Instead, these are fundamental updates to three aspects of artillery gameplay that players can enjoy regardless of vehicle tier or nation. Shell audio, tracers, targeted alert. Want to learn more? Read on. Yes, please. Shell audio. What's been changed with the audio? Shell audio has been adjusted to be more audible to increase players' awareness that an artillery shell has been fired. How will it do this? Will artillery shells be louder or directional? The shell audio is 3D, but not distance attuned. Or attenuated, sorry. This means that you can tell the direction from where the shot originated and hear the shell's pathway in relation to your position as the audio follows the shell that it, as it travels. The audio effect plays at the same volume regardless of where you are in relation to the shell. It is a new sound or adjustments to the sound we have now. The sound is the same. We've adjusted how you hear it. Okay. How will this help us in battle? Obviously. This allows you to be more aware of when an artillery vehicle has fired, regardless of whether the round was fired in your direction, so you have a better idea of where the artillery is aiming. Okay. So you're going to hear artillery, sh artillery fire and know when they fire because of that. Tracers. What's been changed with the already tracers. Artillery tracers are now bigger and thicker and will, st will stay visible longer to help you see the shells in flight and more easily more easily, and give you a better idea when the shot, where the shot originated from. Oh boy. What do you hope these changes will achieve? Using the new shell tracers and the audio together, you should be able to get a good sense of the location of artillery and position yourself accordingly. Previous tracers Traces after update. Oh, counter battery is going to be a lot easier, so that's nice. That is a big difference. Targeted. How the targeted alert works and what will trigger it or make it go off. The targeted alert will now be triggered by an artillery using strategic or trajectory view as long as you are spotted, being aimed at in the strategic or trajectory view and can be hit by the artillery unit targeting you. All requirements must be fulfilled in order for the targeted alert to be displayed. No changes, third person or first person view requirements. The target must be spotted, the enemy must be looking at the target with their camera, the enemy must have a direct line of sight on the target. New, artillery strategic or trajectory view requirements. The target must be spotted, the enemy artillery must be looking at the target with their strategic or trajectory camera. If multiple players are within the aiming circle, the player closest to the center of the reticle is the player that is being looked at. The enemy artillery must have an unobstructed line of fire to, on the target. Is there any specific visual that will tell me an artillery is aiming at me? This will work the same way it has. You will know that something is aiming at you. You just know, won't know what. Okay, this is coming tomorrow. And so this is... Let's see. This is what will hopefully this will hopefully mean in some cases if you know no one else can see you but you're targeted then you hear artillery fire you know what's firing at you and you know to move this is going to make it well for light tanks who are paying attention even harder to hit light tanks which is fine but it's also going to make it harder to hit medium tanks tank destroyers heavy tanks and i'm very happy about that um they have done nothing however to changing their alpha damage changing their accuracy changing their potential to one shot and change the game just like that they've done none of that and that's okay I guess for now they said this is not everything they've been looking at but hey it's a start even though it's been whew, 
one and a half years since they promised a change. Yeah, <sighs> finally. And now to the new season, the independent season, Mavericks Wanted. Wow, I wonder what this has any reference to. Prepare for Cold War Independent. Very cool. We're not going to really go into it, so we're just going to get into the rewards because the season pass is always the same. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what you get at the end. Get all the rewards you can, including new premium independent T100 tank. Okay. Rewards, tiers, and season pass info. Free rewards, season pass rewards, and ultimate pass rewards. Let's see. Uh, free rewards, you get the Mercenary Tier 6 Absolution, the German Tier 8 Agula, um, Hawk 30, Light Tank, and that's about it. Now let's jump over to the Season Pass that you will be getting. New 3D Commander, the British Tier 4 Vanquisher Sentinel, okay, Sonic Valkyrie 2D Standard Commander, the Mercenary Tier 8 Trinity Mark II, been buffed to oblivion, that thing's amazing right now, the new... T100 post-war era independent tank. Level 100. At level 100. Very cool if you like Cold War. And enough gold to cover the next 2000 gold season pass. Nice. And then if you buy the ultimate, you also get the new British Tier 8 g Soar 1008 tank destroyer and the new Lara Last Stand Levy 3D Premium Commander. Interesting. So, first one being free, second one being 2000 gold, third one being 6000 gold. Um, and then we have some starter packs. Let's see if any of these are interesting. Boosters. Independent season tanks. This is the silver you get if you already have them. If you already have the Agula. 2.6 million. Absolution, 1.6 million. The Vanquisher, 880,000. And the, um, the Trinity, 3.7 million. Then we have the T100, which is like a T34, it looks like. Here, let's talk about it. Inspired by the vehicle by the vehicle that the Egyptian military designed to field the BS 100mm anti-tank gun. The T-100 cuts a unique profile on the battlefield. It distinctly sh its distinctly shaped turret leaves you with little gun depression. Oh boy. So find cover on level ground and engage using Pika boom tactics. The gun's alpha damage and penetration will take care of the boom part. Play it as the classic tank destroyer. Take care to avoid getting hit and enjoy power enjoy powering your way toward victory this tank does look absolutely ridiculous let's see here yeah it looks like a t-34 hull mounted with a different turret and gun because that's how they had to fit it armor it has none to speak of penetration 203 with sorry 302 with 370 alpha damage or premium pen and 440 alpha damage there you go and let's look at the stats, like the credit multiplier it has. Oh, it goes 55. It's lower power to weight ratio. 55% silver bonus. Okay. Well, there you go. What is its gun depression? It was just talking about. 3.2 degrees. Oh. Oh, that's not going to be fun, guys. I promise you that will not be fun. And then we have the G-Soar, which I'm excited about. I would love to get one of these when I can one day. But let's take a look here. Plays up to tier 10. 50% silver multiplier. Hit points, 1,200. 14.6 horsepower. 10 goes 60. 10 degrees of gun. 11 degrees of gun depression. Penetration, 226. Alpha, 320. Premium rounds, 321. Good aim time. Good accuracy. 45 seconds reload. 4. Shell clip. With 2 seconds into clip. Owie. You can do some serious damage with this 1280 in six seconds. There you go. The APCR is just better in every way. Faster shell velocity, insane penetration. You may as well spam that. Did I just um, encourage that? Whoopsies. And then you've got these new 3D commanders. There's this guy. We'll call him Dave. His name is actually Dave. Never mind. That's not funny anymore. And then we have this lady, and her name is Safia Ahmed. There you go. Hey, she's actually wearing clothes this time. That's nice. Oh, and then another lady, Lara. What's with all the female commanders? I feel discriminated against. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so that that's that's it. That's the update coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow being the 14th of June, 2022. In case you guys are watching this as far in the future or in the past, um. 
tomorrow we'll be trying out the new season. What we'll be doing is we'll be playing the tank games live. So that means I play what kills me. And it's going to be fun because we don't usually do that live. We usually have it as an episode. But tomorrow, testing out the update, fighting against artillery, we are going to be playing. And uh, playing what kills us. The tank games. Look at this. It looks like also an Oni 3D skin. That's interesting. Is this a CS63 3D skin? Or, there you are, or new skin? That's cool. Alright, but that's gonna be it. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. Comment! Please, yeah, comment. And subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the update in the description below. And I'll be seeing you guys all later. Take care, everyone. And peace out.